Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I wanted to review a game that I literally labeled I played bad and deserved to lose. So I wanted to just essentially review a game where I played really terribly the entire game. And I just I just played straight up bad and I wanted to go back, review it uh, and see what I could have done differently and maybe try to learn something from it. I think VOD reviewing in any sort of game, whether it's Pokemon, Overwatch, League of Legends, whatever it may be, um, is really important for learning. And I'm not really one to focus on PvP to a huge extent, but I wanted to show you guys what it's like to VOD review and give you guys an example of it. Uh, and I've also just been enjoying a lot of randoms recently, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I'm off to a really lucky start turn one. I, don't, I didn't record the first turn, unfortunately, but I was a Mamoswine facing down a Ludicolo. I knew that I was faster. I went for the Icicle Crash, which had a 20% chance of flinching, flinching, and I knew it would do decent damage. It ended up, it ended up doing around 49% or so and flinching, flinching which put me in a really good position to follow up with the second icicle crash, which did the 51% damage, finishing it off. So essentially turn one, I took out the Ludicolo for free, but I took a little bit of chip on life orb damage on my Mimoswine, and that's the information we need to have going into the, the future turns, going into turn three here with Hitmonlee. So he brings in Hitmonlee versus my Mimoswine, and I know that uh, he's faster. Any sort of high jump kick is going to kill my Mimoswine, and I know that. And I just, I end up making a bad switch here. I'm going to go ahead and put the game on actually a faster speed so we can, I'll, I'll pause to talk through it. Um, I think looking back, there's kind of two plays I have here. Um, I could just sacrifice my Mammoth Swine and get off an Ice Shard and just do as much damage as possible. Or I think my best switch here looking back is probably, it's either Stun Tank or Toxic Croak. It's honestly a tough call. Uh, the issue is... I don't have a great switch into this thing pretty much ever. This game was already, it was, it was a tough spot for me already. And I think I, um, I made it even worse essentially. Um, I think looking back, I also thought about going into my golem, which I forget if I, if I do or, or what I do here, I really wanted to be able to go into Vaporeon, but it just takes way too much damage. I know that Vaporeon will just get obliterated. Um, I think looking back, I probably should have stayed in an ice sharded because what happens here is that I should have thought about fighting gem. There's a really good chance that this thing has a fighting type gem, but I thought it might be choice band or choice scarf or something. Uh, I do get a really good switch in on the golem like, tanking a fake out, which is nice. But uh, what happens is that fake out actually all it does is it ends up um, getting rid of my it ends up it's worst case scenario actually for me. I give back. It's actually really bad for me that I I tanked the fake out. I didn't I didn't think about fake out either, which is super unfortunate. The fake out, what it does is it gets rid of my sturdy, and it also makes it now so that if he high jump kicks me and hits, I'm not gonna live at one HP for my sturdy, and I'm not gonna get my cussed at proc, which is what I was going for. Which I think looking back, honestly, this was a pretty decent play. I actually think this was a pretty good play, but I definitely didn't expect the fake out. I was expecting just a straight up high jump kick so honestly looking back maybe this i don't know let, let me know what you guys see in the comments down below so everything everything here is up for discussion up for uh, interpretation but i think this is where i started to make really bad misplays i actually think that golem play is kind of good i think looking back honestly that golem play was probably my best play you, you could argue just sacrificing the mammoth swine um but i think trying to use the golem to get some value and keep it you know to keep it alive and everything um, I don't know. I, I, I think it was a fine play. Uh, here's where I make a huge misplay. I bring in Cloyster, um, expecting my Icicle Spear to do enough damage, and it just doesn't. Even with a crit and times five hitting, I just, I just, I just obliterate and sacrifice my Cloyster. I even type in chat. I think, ouch, I'm inting is what I typed. Um, and now I'm just in a terrible position where I'm like, oh, this, this, this sucks. Um, I think at this point I bring in Skunk Tank to be able to Sucker Punch. I'm not quite sure. Bringing in Cloyster there was just... I'm trying to think if there was any other play though. It's honestly really tough. Maybe I bring in Toxicroak there. I have to run the Calcs. Um, Toxicroak should be able to deal with... The, like, should be able to tank attacks well enough from Hitmonlee. Does it have access to Poison Jab? If this Toxicroak has access to Poison Jab, I probably should have brought that in. And then gone for the poison jab, but at least I can bring in Mammoth Swine here and finish off the Hitmonlee. So at this point, it's not terrible, but still, I do feel like I sacrificed my Cloyster too fast. This game is not as bad played as I thought it was, but it's still pretty bad. I think the Golem play was fine looking back. I think bringing in the Cloyster into that thing at full HP was pretty bad. I mean, it's essentially me guaranteed sacrificing my Cloyster, and this was just. This was a bad play. This, I mean, to be fair, like, 
there's no good play. I think I probably should have gone, once again, I should have gone, um, either Skuntanked or Toxic Road here would have been fine. Just staying in on Mammoth Swine here is just bad. Uh, it's too risky. I, I thought that I maybe I'd be able to live the, the Flamethrower, but I just absolutely do not. And I get taken out. I probably should have made the switch here over to, like, just using my, using my Skun Tank as a tank. I mean, it's a tank Pokemon. Like, using it as a tank and abusing what it's supposed to be there for would have been a lot better. But then, I honestly, I think I end up taking so much damage from this thing. My Skun Tank ended up being, okay, no, 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 it brings in a ride on. So, yeah, I get some, I get nothing out of my Poison Jab there, unfortunately. And I just put myself in such a bad position. I think I go into, Vaporeon here is pretty free. So, I can bring it, yeah, pretty free switch. I can bring Vaporeon, Stalled. Yeah, I just made so many misplays in those early stages. I know that I, I might be able to live another EQ. I'm at like 53%. It depends if that EQ was a high roll or a low roll. Uh, Scald actually KOs this, which I was really surprised by. But I know that I'm in a really weird position against this Manetric. To be fair, like, my team facing down his team was just really bad. Like, looking back, I can't even be like that, you know, that harsh on myself. And this Thunderbolt, dude, like 61%. Are you kidding me? What's that damn? That's crazy. Um, that's just my scun tank. Just, yeah, I don't know. Looking back a lot of this game, I think this was a game that I was in, I was unfavored to win. And then I secured the loss for myself by, by playing poorly on, on top of it, which was the mistake here. So here I decide that I want to go for the, um, the sword stance into the sucker punch plays on Totsukirk, which is, which is, my, which is my, my best bet here, honestly, for victory at this point, but I really think looking back, my main misplay was just bringing in that Cloyster into Hitmonlee and sacrificing it in the way I did, and that was just, I think that was, just, I should have just brought in, if anything, I should have just sacrificed my stun tank or brought in my stun tank to just do something with that. I really think just, like, sacrificing my Cloyster in the way I did just really cost me, I think this game could have been winnable if I didn't sack my Cloyster. Especially since it was Scarf. Having access to, to Scarf Cloister this game just would have been so relevant. And here, he brings in the, the Smeardle. I'm like, oh, he's obviously going to spore me. Um, I'm really hoping that I... If I was faster than something that he brought in and I could Drain Punch it for a lot of damage, I was like, you know what? Honestly, maybe I can win. But now nah, he brings in this in. and I know he's going to spore me. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, do I even... Does it matter? Like, do I switch to Vaporeon? Does it matter what I do? Um, at this point, the game's pretty much over. It shouldn't really matter what I do here. Um, Cause he's gonna be able to spore me. I mean, it depends what his last Pokemon is, I guess. And it depends if I, if I can bring in Vaporeon or something. And he goes for a Seismic Toss here, which I was really surprised by, but I bring in Vaporeon. Um, I just go for the Stalled. Great if he spores now. He doesn't, he doesn't show Spore, maybe he didn't have it. I don't know if maybe I should have switched there and maybe it's, I don't think it ever matters. I forget what it is. I, yeah, I also, I type in chat here. So I actually should have ice beamed on this. There's little things you can do in Pokemon to give yourself the best chance at victory. So this turn before where you saw me go for Scald, this was a misplay. I should have gone for ice beam here. There's no reason for me to Scald here. The burn does not matter. Um, I just, I have to go for ice beam to hope for freeze hacks to give myself that small 1% margin at uh at victory so that's a misplay there definitely should have gone for ice beam there's no point to stall but at this point the game is pretty much over but definitely shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that so i really think in this game my biggest misplay was just not not valuing my pokemon well enough like i should have valued my cloister way higher than i did and i think just letting my cloister go down was a huge mistake and letting my mammoth swine there was just a lot of sacrifices here that didn't need to happen my mammoth swine didn't need to die in the way that it did my cloister didn't need to die in the way that i did um and i should have sacrificed my skunk tank a lot more because skunk tank just couldn't do that much in this game um but that's the end of it i think uh, he ends up outspeeding me, Seismic Toss, and that's GG's. But yeah, I just made, I even type in chat, I played this game so badly, and I deserve to lose. And that's, I mean, that's how I feel about it. Look, looking back, I still feel that way. I do think I was, I don't know, I, I think I was a little hard on myself at the beginning, but it's really, once I made that Cloister play, it was all downhill. I think I made a lot of mistakes uh, on the Cloister, sacrificing the Cloister and sacrificing the Mammoth Swine were the worst things. And then, um... But that first play wasn't too bad. The switch into Golem, looking back, honestly, wasn't bad. I thought th I thought that was pretty bad at the time. But honestly, looking back, I'd probably make that play again, make that decision again. But you guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this game. Uh, point out all the mistakes. Point out what you think I did wrong. What you would have done differently. Try to be polite. Try to be kind. Try to understand the hindsight is twenty twenty and use the information at your disposal. 
Um, but thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to rev review your own VODs here and there. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon uploads. The Discord link is down below and financial links are down below if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel for daily Pokemon uploads. But I appreciate it. Thank you guys for your, for your time. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.